Have you guys ever noticed that there's a wattage unit on the Concept2 rower? That's right, today we're talking power. There's a fire inside and it just can't hide it. There's a fire inside and it just can't fight it. Hi guys, today I'm going to take you through two separate tests. Each of these tests can be used as an indication of how much power you can give. For those that don't know, power is measured in wattage. Assessing your max wattage on the Concept2 rower is easy. And if you're a crossfitter, it is important to recognize that power is an important pillar of your overall fitness. It is something we should all aspire to work on. Let's have a look at the first test. All right, so you can just see me walking over to the machine. The first thing I wanted to talk to you about is when you're doing a power test, really make sure you've got those boots strapped in nice and tight. I know that I've done videos about how you don't have to put your boots in tight. Um, for a power test like this, definitely make sure you're strapped in and even tuck that extra cord back in over itself. The next part I want you to notice is the damper setting is on 10. So that's that little bar that slides up and down on the side. When you're testing max power, always have it at 10. That way you can generate the most force possible. Hit the top button. Then you'll be able to see what wattage you, that you're on wattage. If you're not on wattage, just push that bottom left-hand corner button. Make sure you set it at watts and then have the screen displayed as so. Now with this test, you've basically, basically got 10 strokes to hit the maximum amount of power that you can possibly produce. So it's not really a test about time, it's more of a test of you've got 10 strokes, see what you can pull. So if you can see that I can just, just got over 705 watts. So as a recap there on that test, you've got 10 strokes to produce the maximum amount of, maximum amount of wattage you can um, as you saw, I got just over 700. The best I've ever done was 800. If you're interested in the records, the highest official one I've ever been able to track down was a guy called Josh Penrice from Great Britain. He got 1,308 watts. As for females, it was 886 watts by Olenia Beriak. If you guys can find a superior result to that, please reach out in the comments. So now we've had a look at that one. What about the second test? The second test is a 100 meter row for time. Now guys, you can see me setting up here. For this one, set the distance, the top one. You can, it automatically comes up at 2K, but you can deduct that as so, and just set it as 100 meters. After you've got it set up, just click the tick. Make sure it's in units of meters. You had it, I had it previously in the wattage from the previous test. Set it on meters and then it's just a 100 meter all out sprint. Um, you can see my time here, well, I pulled it down to about 1.16. Um, I was a little bit fatigued. I've already done a session today, so but that was my result for today, 16.2. I'm sure you guys can smash that. With respects to records around the 100 meters, the world record for the men currently sits at 12.6 by Loren Howard of the USA, insanely fast. Um, and for women, it's 15.1. So a woman beat me by over a second, Anastasia Genia, but she's a Russian powerhouse. Um, if you're interested at all around that, check out the Concept2 website. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, you can find all of the records for every age group, all the weight classes. So yeah, I'll leave a link in the description for that. The benefits in these tests are that they're not overly exhaustive. That means you can back them up. To implement them, chuck them in at the start of your CrossFit session after your warm up. You definitely don't want to do it cold as that can lead to, in lead to injuries. Guys, I'd love you all to have a crack at these. Um, as I said, they're not overly exhaustive. You can have an easy shot at 
doing them and into any CrossFit training session. So leave in the comments section your 100 meter times and also your max wattages. Can you compete with um, those top results? And if you know of anyone that's got a better result than that, please also let me know. I'd love to hear about that. I'm sure a lot of you guys can smash my results. But the real benefit of doing these tests is that you can track your own performance over time. It's not just about the once off hit and yeah, I'm awesome. It's okay, this time I got 600 watts. Let's try for 650 in a month's time. That's a good goal to have. Okay, once you hit the 650, you make the next goal. If you're up there, perhaps you could go for those records. Who knows? It's something you probably haven't even considered. If you're if you've got an insane clean, why not see what you can pull on that max wattage? Contact concept two, put your name in the record books. These are all things that you need to that you could implement that you haven't even really thought about. So yeah, and if you want any advice on the rowing, make sure to subscribe to the channel and because I'm going to be putting up tips on the regular. So um, I'd like to develop a bit of a community where we can all help each other out with anything we can. Thanks, guys, and that's a wrap. Please let me know in the comments section what you thought of this video and if there was anything you would like me to cover with future content. Please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated around the world of triathlon whilst gaining tips to improve on your own performance.